if you're thinking about leaving, let me know. If you're thinking that you don't want to hurt me, go and I'm getting bored. Cause I can find enough. Oh, hey, beauty. It's your girl Clormoy, and we are getting ready for a holiday party, baby. Okay, so we have a lot to do. We have skincare to do. We have hair. Oh, see, no, my nails are too sharp. My nails are too sharp. I do already have on skincare, but now I need to like shave my face. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take my rose water from Fresh. Yeah, I ain't got no paper towel. I ain't got no cotton balls. I ain't got none of that. Okay, I'm not gonna wipe around my eyes because I do have on eye cream. Because I was just plucking my face and I was like, girl, your face is hairy. And if you want that makeup to lay, we need to shave. I came back from my cruise, eight day cruise. And the face is hairy. Because I am putting this on a public platform, I want to make sure that you know this is a brand new razor. I cleaned it with alcohol. And some people microblade their face with like oil. I have to do it dry. So don't go do this just off of watching my one video. Do your research because I don't want you to break out or nothing like that. Actually, I do have cotton balls. <laughs> they were by my nail area. All right, so I, I did the thing with my face, microbladed, shaved my face, and then I'm gonna go back in with the uh, facial toner. And I'm just going to clean it off. Adding moisturizer to my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown primer and moisturizer. And I'm gonna apply that over my face. Uh, I bought this because I've been seeing all the girlies talking about how amazing it is and blah, blah, blah. I haven't experienced the amazement of it. And I don't think it has done anything special to my makeup. I'm gonna stop buying shit that y'all recommend. Not y'all, but the girlies. However, I've only been using it for about a week or so, so whatever. That's me. And I've been using it on top of another moisturizer. So now that I don't have any moisturizer on and just this, let's see what happens. Some girls been using this and then still applying a primer. And some girl been some girls been just using this because it's a moisturizer and a primer building from bobby brown Ugh, child, it ain't do nothing special for me child but let's see today so i did go on the cruise with these cuban twists i really enjoy it i really enjoy this hairstyle y'all however i have very dry scalp which i did not have growing up it started as an adult so i'm gonna go in with my grease and grease my scalp The reason why I was gonna oil it because my oil has a nozzle, so it's just easier to get through the parting with the nozzle. And my dry scalp is more so in the front of my hair. Maybe it's in the back, but I don't see it back there. <laughs> I left a lot of my edges out, y'all, because I actually had some of my edges inside the twist and it was, it was pulling. It didn't feel good. So I did the front over before I went on the cruise. And I left the edges out because don't nobody have time to be losing edges, okay? If I have to have the whole front of my forehead out, the front of my hair out, that's what I'm going to do. You see how much edges I left out? Yeah, I left it all out. I don't care. I don't care. I do this for me. And my convenience. And if I feel beautiful, that's all that matters. I'm going with some oil anyway. I like to use a wild growth oil. And just 
you guys can see how uh -oh, what's going on you going in there So I've also been using the Braid and Sculpt Spray. I bought this from the Beauty Supply Store. Camila Rose, that's the name of the brand, Camila Rose. This is mint condition sea moss and aloe vera. A conditioning burst of essential oils, herbs, sea moss, crafted to rejuvenate, freshen, and relieve a dry, itchy scalp. It has done that. My scalp has not itched at all. And even all the whiteness, y'all know the whiteness I get in my scalp hasn't been as prominent as it would have been so I, I do like this yeah this is how i do my scope when i have these twisting and it feels so good yeah if only we knew about this stuff when i was growing up <sighs> if this stuff was made such a big deal because i would have had a lot more hair you know all right so Let me bring this back now because now I'm going to do my edges. I like to go in with the um, edge booster. I have this mini one for travel. This is the one that really, really works. However, I've also heard people say on social media that, um, that they realized that it was responsible for pulling out their edges. And me being edgely challenged, I'm gonna stop saying that because I'm only speaking life into myself. 2023. So me and my my amazing edges, I'm still using it, but it works so well. It keeps your edges down. You know, it doesn't make it hard. So you know, anything that you see online, even if it's your favorite person that talks about it. Do your research before you really go and purchase it, you know? Yes, get recommended stuff, but then go do your own research. And I know that takes a lot of work. And sometimes we just wanna believe what somebody say, but you can't, <laughs> you can't. These hoes be lying. I'm gonna take my head scarf. and tie my edges so because i have moisturizer on my face i'm gonna go in with some setting powder the one i'm using is from Laura mercier and i'm going to apply that to my brow so that's gonna absorb all of the oils that are on my face so my brows are nice and dry because brows tend to get oily throughout the day right so and i also like to use a brow pencil that is very dry it doesn't glide on it has some tug to it and the one that i'm using is by alta i really like it go in brush the brows a little unconventional but it, it is unconventional but it makes sense and you should try it it makes my brows look a lot more natural and allows my because I don't have a lot of eyebrows hairs when I do this next step it allows my eyebrow hairs to kind of separate which makes it looks like I have more within the makeup so it's not all my hairs are bunched up together so I like to go with my even wonder spray got to be glue will probably do the same thing but I prefer this spray over got to be glue because it never leaves a residue where got to be glue left a white residue so I spray my spoolie Come a little closer my spoolie now has the product in it and i go in and i lightly start to separate and you want to have a light hand when doing this because otherwise you know i have a lot of product on this spoolie and it will like 
make it clump together and make my brows look wet. So I go in with the product and just separate. And the brows stay in place all day. The hair stay in place. out my brows I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer if you've been here for a while you know how long I've been wanting a lighter concealer for my brows because I felt like the concealer that I use for my brows right now it's close to my skin tone and it wasn't giving me that highlight that I want what did you notice about the way I applied my light concealer if you have the answer leave it in the comment section time to time before you do anything stupid stupid before you speak your mind uh, I am on a roll, yeah. Not this brush to blend out anything Concealer Where did I get this? Oh, it's an elf brush, good I can go buy more because I really love this brush I use it for my concealer I use it for my eyeshadow I use it to blend out my brow products It's amazing It's a really good brush we need an eyeshadow base. Mm, no, I have a lot right here. Let's use what's on my thing. I'm using a Too Faced concealer eyeshadow base. And this is going to work as a primer. And y'all know, if you've been watching my videos, I don't really wear eyeshadow base like that. But I am going to wear more eyeshadow today, so I am going to put on an eyeshadow base. So don't hold me back. Go in with your setting powder. I'm gonna use this right here. And set that. Yeah, this little brush that TikTok made me buy. I mean this little powder powder pad that TikTok made me buy. Hey, it's awesome. I love it. So that's nice and matte. I really love that. I never, ooh, I never used that for that before and I like it. Then we are using, these are the palettes that I have today. These are all from Dose of Colors and this one is from Beautiful. They recently wrote me to collab with me. But they didn't want to pay me or they haven't responded to my, my offer. I love this eyeshadow palette, y'all. Look at these colors. This is from Dosa Colors. I'm a big fan of Dosa Colors. Big, big fan. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here. <laughs> yeah, transitional, baby. Going with this same brush that I love. I love this brush. And I'm going to pat that in. Okay, it's, it's, it's darker than the transitional. <laughs> It is not as it's darker than the transitional, yeah. I'm a little rusty, I see. I need a different brush. Everybody, you wanna fight? My MAC, now I'm gonna really go in with a transitional color. But you should know that burnt orangey shade. And just blend that out. I don't wanna get too close to my eyebrows because I want that highlight right there to still pop. 
and that orange color i don't know if you can tell but it's making it softer it's making that dark brown color softer that i did not mean to use now i'm gonna go in with the starter show i'm going with straight glitter baby yeah tidy out tidy out my no glitter i don't know if this brush is gonna work well but this is um glitter that it oh that does not work at all this is glitter that is already like sticky it's not loose glitter that's not working okay wait it's picking it up not really and we're going to apply that and oh yeah baby i probably should have added some gold eyeshadow but whatever look at that no fallout because it already has like sticky stuff in it and yeah we are doing gold on the eyelids glitter because it's new year's and since there's no glitter in my outfit there's going to be glitter in my eyeshadow you know what i am going to smoke out my eyeliner you know why because i i i i, I don't have fun with my makeup anymore I do what I know and I move on and I don't want to do that this time. I want to smoke out my eyeliner. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the makeup game, everything has changed so drastically. And sometimes I feel like I'm being left behind because it's like I'm still stuck in my old ways. Whew! And then I'm bored. But... No, I'm, I'm going to do something extra and I'm going to smoke up my eyeliner because you see, this is something I'm comfortable with, right? Boom, eyeliner is perfect. Move on. But now I'm, I'm going to add a little extra um to it. Go in with a black eyeshadow and smoke out our eyeliner. And I hope I don't regret this. You know. I'm only gonna smoke out the back, by the way. <laughs> you know, nothing too serious. I'm kind of regretting it. <laughs> I should have just minded my business and stick to what I know. Or maybe I like it. I don't know. I've smoked out my eyeliner before, but not with glitter. Don't regret it. Trust the process, Santusha. Just in case some of you didn't know, my real name is Santusha. And my social media name is Clermoy. Because Clermoy means color pretty in Dutch. And I'm from Suriname. Technically, I was born in America. My parents are from Suriname. I lived in Suriname, went to school in Suriname. And I speak Dutch fluently. I don't regret it. Now we are going to clean up our eyeliner so this smokiness is more pronounced. I have no regrets with this makeup look. I have regrets in life. <laughs> I have regrets. But you know what? Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lessons learned. I have no regrets. Yeah. You see, look at the difference. Yeah. I always knew I had it in me. Yeah. I'm going to do the next one off camera. So I was going to add my milk primer to my face because I am addicted to it. I don't even know if it works, guys. I don't know, but I like putting it on. However, if I put that on, then I'm not giving this a true chance. And the girls who are talking about how good this primer why am i putting it on again because i just wipe underneath my eyes to remove some of that glitter and there's still glitter there because a lot of these girls who are using this primer are also adding uh, another primer on top of it which i feel like how do we know if it's really working if you're adding something on top of it as far as you know primers are involved this is a moisturizer and a primer we can't give it a honest review right if we are adding another primer on top of it so i'm not gonna add another primer on top of it and i'm gonna focus on it because i did use this while while i was on vacation so i didn't focus on my makeup that much but we're gonna focus on our makeup and we're gonna see how well this works and yeah shout out to my 
what is this called again blended smoked out eyeliner i'm gonna go in with my concealer i'm using mocha from Too faced and i'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes and then i'm gonna go in with my lancome foundation i've been using this foundation for years y'all if it ain't broke don't fix it even though the girls have been influencing me i'm always being influenced by these girls y'all when it comes to makeup products that i want to try but because i've been in the makeup game for so long i also know that a lot of these products are just hyped up and they all kind of boil down to be the same thing not everything of course you know like yes there's a big difference in foundations because i prefer the lancome foundation versus any other foundations i have tried because it just looks most natural to me so everybody has their own reason as to why they like a particular product but you shouldn't have to go out and buy all these different products to have in your makeup collection if you find the products that work for you and I have found products that personally work really well for me. So I don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of products. I mean, I could if I just want to tell you guys about the products. But how can I really give you my honest opinion on a new product if I just use it the first time? I need like a few months. I need a few weeks to see if I really enjoy this makeup product, which is quite different from wigs because I can tell if I'm gonna like a wig the day I take it out the box. Oh, you never come clean and you never come through. blended out that concealer mocha i'm gonna go in with sand because that's lighter and that's gonna really highlight underneath my eyes which i like i definitely have a lot on i definitely put a lot and i'm also gonna highlight my nose i normally don't highlight my nose with sand i normally use mocha <laughs> I'm gonna use mocha for my forehead though and my chin area because yeah and then we're just gonna blend it out we're gonna wait well I could have waited for this as well I like to you know let my concealer sit for a little bit because it blends so much better and it gives you more coverage as well so let me just wait now that I've done this right here let me just wait a little bit as I'm not waiting but I need to spread this around a little bit I give this enough time but I'm ready to bend it out become one of my favorite steps in my makeup is taking this little brush like i mean this little powdery sponge i love it because it just fits perfectly and then setting my under eye with it you don't want to bake it you want to set sometimes i feel like i need to read books by bell hooks to be more black i'm gonna go in now with my uh, studio mac and i'm just going to pat that into my skin where my foundation is 
powder. I love this powder as well. It's in the shade Dark Deep. And it's like this um, skin-like. It, it, well, it is called um, Skin Finish because it's very soft and it gives a slight glow. And you want to go in with that very lightly. Okay. Going with my bronzer now. The bronzer that I'm using is by Charlotte Tilbury. I love it. Charlotte, you did your thing, girl. However, you can come out with darker shades. Miss Girl. I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there, cause I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes. What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know what's your It's time for blush. <laughs> yeah. I love blush, yeah. I love blush. Even though I don't have that many, I maybe have about 20 different blush shades, which for an influencer content creator it's not a lot makeup beauty it's not a lot and most of them come in palettes like i have about three um single ones and then the rest come in palettes like this and then i also have a big mac one that i created when i worked at at mac and the blush that i'm using is actually for mac don't know the name though because it is old and it's scratched out well, not scratched out, just faded out. And if you know, you know MAC has great blushes. So blush placement has changed or come back because we are placing the blush really high on our um, cheekbones again. Let's brush away the setting powder now. setting spray next step the one I'm using is by Urban Decay it is called the all-nighter it has vitamin C in it and cactus flower water it is supposedly a long-lasting makeup setting spray I don't think it has made my makeup last any longer however I do like the fact that when I spray it on my face it allows my makeup to like melt and look more skin like I do like the Charlotte Tilbury one more but i've been really using my charlotte tilbury a lot and i don't want it to finish so soon so i'm gonna go in with um the urban decay one and plus the urban decay one is like the og of the ogs so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's talk about highlight for the face I love this right this is the Danessa Marix one and I love Danessa Marix she's a black makeup artist she owns a cosmetic line that is doing really good it's very successful um, but if you're gonna buy this you should be a makeup artist I didn't need to buy this I should have just bought one individually I don't believe it comes individuals individually packed so I regret this purchase because I only use this one all the other colors to me are ugly However, Cami Cosmetics, okay? Um, she gave me this a long time ago. Like, oh, it has this little brush that I will never use. She gave me this shimmer palette um, a long time ago, years ago now. And I use it ever so often. And every time I use it, I'm reminded at how be beautiful it is. And it's for one person. You know, it's not big, it's not bulky, it's perfect. Both of these colors look great on me. So let's say I start with this brown one. Look at that. Ugh. That is beautiful. And then if I want to go in and add some of that light shimmer, which I should have done after I did the other cheek, it's it's beautiful. And I don't think she has these in stock anymore. Go in. Let me spray that first. And Add some more setting spray. 
Mm. Guess what I'm using? Chestnut, baby. Yeah, I remember that? OGs? I know you do. I'm gonna go on with another okay so chestnut is my favorite brown liner I haven't used it in years because I've been using a liquid lipstick by Dose of Colors in the shade Chocolate Wasted and then one time I saw my lip liner chestnut by MAC Cosmetics and I put it on and I completely fell back in love with this shade then I have another shade that I'm also very much in love with. It is the darkest brown lip pencil I have ever had in my entire life. And it is from Dose of Colors called Chocolate Lip Liner. And it is actually in collaboration with this beautiful, super dark um, makeup influencer. And the reason why I'm mentioning her skin tone, because this lip liner was created to show up on her skin color because she's very, very dark. So chestnut would not show up on her, but this lip liner does. And on me, it looks fabulous but i don't use it by itself because then it's a little bit too dark i mean i could but i don't i like to go in and just kind of uh deepen in the corners of my lip liner sometimes on top to create like an ombre effect Make your move before someone takes your place. i know how you feel but you scared to say to my face that you know you won't do you see that? Let me let me do a close up of my lips. You see that? As for lips, I have no idea what lip liner I should do. I think I'm gonna use this one by Dose of Colors. Does it go with my makeup look? Not really. What should I do? This one goes a little bit more. Okay, but this one is a little dark. Whatever. Mm. Oopsie. Then I'm going to add Cami Cosmetics. It is a nude lipstick. It is very nude. It's called Dubai Days. I don't like Dubai. we were done but we're not done we're gonna go in because we did not add any shimmer to our inner corners and what's a holiday look or any look without a little shimmer in the inner corner so i'm gonna go in with those of colors eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna take this shimmer right here i could use the same shimmer that i used on my cheekbones but i'm not and just add that to our inner corners okay so let's style our hair and i know you So, when you have your hair up in a ponytail and you have this much hair on your head, <laughs> it's tight and we don't want it tight. So, let's pull out all, not pull it out all the way, but let's loosen it and pull out all the hairs that feel too tight because we support edges around these parts of tan. Is it a little bit too much on this side? Yeah. 
we support edges. You know, when you have this much hair on your head, it's still going to feel kind of tight. But isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So, we don't want to see the band, right? We want it to just all look like hair. So we're going to take, let's take two. Two hair, two brick, two strands that do not have beads on it. And we're going to just twist it around. And in the back, we're going to tuck it into the hair band. And this is what I'm giving. I'm also giving a little nauseousness, like I need to eat. Look at the back, y'all. Yeah. What is the back giving? Cause I can't see. Ooh, I'm nauseous. Okay, I gotta go eat something. And then I'm gonna come back with the outfit. Matter of fact, let's put the outfit on together. Now my jewelry hasn't been unpacked since the clothes. I unpacked my clothes. I did that like the second day that I came home because usually that suitcase will sit there with my vacation clothes for weeks. Not into that. I'm wearing these earrings, which I think go really well with the bottom of the skirt. I've had these earrings for years. You hear me? Like, I'm so serious four years so I'm gonna wear these uh, as far as rings go I'm gonna wear my engagement ring and then I'm gonna wear a snake ring which is one of my favorite you see I was swollen on the cruise because this ring wasn't going the way how smooth it just went on my finger so this is what I'm gonna do um, I want more I just saw these earrings that I got from Shein. By the way, this dress, Shein, but I don't know. This is giving more vacation if I wear these earrings and I'm trying to do more dress up, so no. I'm looking for this necklace. I don't think I need a necklace. Okay, no necklace. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna add this extra ring to this finger. My I'm gonna add this beautiful bracelet, which I got from Alexis Bitar. And I think that's it for the jewelry. I could add my my watch as well. This watch is the Apple Watch, but the, the band is from Tory Birch, and I got this little uh let's come close. The little crystal blinged out cover from etsy i love etsy uh so this could this is my jewelry this is my jewelry i like it and then for shoes so these are the shoes that i'm gonna wear this is new york it's cold outside so i think the way i paired it with the black tights and these shoes and to tie in the gold and the black i think is really good and then for perfume, I'm gonna wear a perfume that don't nobody talk about, and it is so good. It is Alien by Mugler. <sighs> My chest. It's this bad boy, and it's it's such a nighttime scent. Oh my gosh, it's strong. I don't wanna get it on my. Let me spray it on my wrist in the bag. It's strong. It's just. It's a powerful scent, yeah, and I don't like the case. This looks like um, Star Trek, uh, the guy from Star Trek, Dark Vader, right? Look, look at the back, look at this. But it is such a sexy adult perfume, yeah. I can actually add a little bit more highlight, to be honest. So let's talk about the shapewear that I'm wearing. Oh, that was too much. You see, I always get carried away. And I'm not even stopping, I'm continuing. Wow, wow. So the shapewear that I have on is from Skims. I don't like the Kardashians, but the black woman that the that Kim is working with, um, with Skims, she did a darn good job. Is it a black woman? I heard it's a black woman. I, I'm gonna Google it and put that information here, but Skims is not only owned by Kim Kardashian, okay? There's a black woman behind that as well. And baby, she did a bomb job. I love Skims. It is actually the shapewear. 
Why am I saying that I love Skims? I, I only bought, and then the beautiful dress that I'm wearing is from Shein. Yeah, I paid $12 for this dress, you know? And I didn't want to shop at Shein, Shein anymore due to all the negative controversy behind it. But y'all wasn't canceling Shein. And I'm over here spending hella money on clothes when I could just, I like I'm not rich. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's a bit classist to uh, judge people who still shop at Shein. But it's such a huge discount. I think the problem lies in, one, the way I've heard that they're treating the factory workers. I completely get that. But I think the problem also lies in the people that buy Shein in bulk um, and then they just discard of the clothing, right? I still feel like when you're shopping, whether it is for um, cheap or inexpensive pieces, you should still shop with the mind of, okay, I'm going to keep this piece in my wardrobe for a long time. I don't just go out and buy bullshit. I don't, which is why I barely do haul. I don't do hauls like that. I have a haul coming up from Aritzia, but baby, <laughs> I love that brand. However, we'll talk about that. We'll talk more about Aritzia in my clothing haul that I'm going to um, do for you all. So I believe that when we buy clothing, whether it's Shein, inexpensive, we should still pay attention to how much we are buying and um, what we are gonna do with the clothes after we no longer want to wear them because that is fucking up our world. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking up the earth. Yeah. You know, so it's like I have two different thoughts happening in my head and all times especially when it comes to clothes even when I then buy expensive things like Gucci or Louis Vuitton then I find out all this negative um, history and press behind those brands <laughs> Balenciaga duh. You know? and there's so many it's like you can't win it's like every brand not every brand because there are brands out there that um, do have sustainable clothing and have a good background and all that stuff but i don't really like their clothes like that and then like uh, a pair of jeans will be like four hundred dollars i'm not in the market of four hundred dollar jeans you know my social media ain't pop like that yeah who anyways i don't know how i got on this topic but again my dress is from shein <laughs> and that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I really enjoyed this video, y'all. So I hope you have a happy holidays. This is probably my last video of 2022. 2022 was amazing, y'all. I, whoo, 2022 was amazing. I accomplished so many things from my vision board that I'm looking at right now. I'm actually gonna work on my vision board before 2023 so it could be brand new and ready for the new board for the new year. So happy new year. Ha um, Merry belated Christmas. And I will see you all in 2023. And I wish you all the best year of your lives. And I'll see you next time. Well, I'll see you in the new year. Bye. I see you watching me.